Hey, today I'm going to talk about my project which is DJing in Ableton Live using the computer keyboard as a controller without using any external controller. Of course, using a controller gives you lots of different options, but I'm going to show you all the basic features I did using only the computer keyboard in order to DJ. In order to use this template correctly, you'll have to either download and install the MIDI-Yoke protocol or enable the IAC driver on your Mac. After doing so, you'll be able to use this template easily. And let's talk about the basic features of this template and how you can use it. Okay, so we have four audio tracks, which two of them are called Loading Deck, where you're supposed to load your track into, and two of them are called Q Deck, where you can record loops and ideas from the Loading Deck to the Q Deck while playing. On each one of the tracks, and if you'll excuse me for a moment, I will use the mouse, you'll be able to see that on each one of the tracks there is an effect track I build, which gives you control over the gain, the different EQs, and more effects. I'm not going to use all of them because it's not really easy to use them using the computer keyboard, but in case you want to use the mouse, they're over there in case you need them. Using F1 through 4, you'll be able to mute and unmute the different tracks, choosing the ones you want to work currently, and using numbers 5 through 8, you'll be able to put the tracks on solo or cue mode, letting you hear what's going on in a specific track without hearing it on the outside. For the example, I'll leave it on solo mode so we'll all hear what's going on. Let's start a clip, and in order to get to the clip area, I press Shift and Tilde. Tilde is the sign which is next to the number one on the keyboard, and pressing it will take us to this specific clip. This clip is the closest to where all clips begin, and from here on I could use the arrow keys to move inside the different clips, and by pressing enter I would launch whatever clip I want to. So, let's start the clip and move on. Pressing numbers 1, 2 and 3, I'm able to kill the different frequencies. Pressing 1, I kill the low frequencies. 2, kills the mid. 3, the high. Also letters Q, W, E, A, S and D, according to 1, 2 and 3, controlling each of the different frequencies, either sweep down or up the different frequencies. For example, let's press A. Let's press W. Each sweep is four bars long and you should take it in account while using it. Pressing the tilde again, now not using the shift, you will be able to reset the EQ for the entire project. So, it means things around here and I want to change it. I press the tilde, then we're back to good. Same thing would have happened if we would go and manually change the EQ. One press of the tilde and then we'll look at the track one more time, it's being back to where it was. Okay, so let's talk about some other features we haven't discussed. Let's say I want to add a new song to my mix. I'll just choose the right deck, put it on solo or cue, so I'll hear what I'm doing and nobody else would, and then I'll launch the clip. Now, next thing, I'm gonna do Shift and the R to arm record the Q decks. Then, whenever I feel like taking a loop, I'll just hit the Enter button, then I'll start recording. Whenever I feel like stop recording, I just hit the Enter key one more time, and then I have a perfect loop. And if I'll leave the solo mode, we'll be able to hear that our song is still running in the back. I could always move to the different deck. Let's hear the Q deck for a moment. 
So, let's change the clip so we'll have something more fun to work with. And whenever I feel like putting the new clip in, just unmute the track. Let's say I want to add new ideas to my mix. I'll just put my new idea on Q mode and let's play the new song. Using Shift Tab, I'll be able to see the waveform and using the comma and the dot, I'll be able to scroll inside the song. Every time I jump around the song, I'm jumping one bar ahead since it's the same length as the global quantization. If I want to change the global quantization, I just hit Shift and letter Q. And I'll change the size of the global quantization. Since if I'll change it to eight bars, I'll be able to jump quicker and in bigger amount inside the song. If I want to start looping from a specific point, I'll just use the square brackets. Pressing the left one, I'll put the in marker and pressing one more time on the right marker, I'll close a loop. The loop size, again, jumps in the size of the global quantization. If I want to change or cancel the loop, I'll just hit the L button and I can enable it or disable it as long as I want. Let's get back to the project. That's what we're hearing currently. And I want to fade in loading deck number two. In order to do so, I'll press Shift and the letter F and it will fade in the song and I'll unmute the song using F4 and then I'll press Shift and F and you can see that the track is gradually opening. Of course you can fade all different tracks both in and out. Let me just change an idea here and then we'll move on. You can fade in all tracks using Shift, A, S, D and F according to the different decks and you can of course fade down using Shift, Z, X, C and V do the different decks as well. Okay, let's make our mix more interesting and add one more song. Let's listen to the deck playing. Let's hit the new song. Let's change the global quantization to a bigger size and then I'll scroll inside the song again using the comma and the dot. And whenever I feel like I find something interesting, I'll just use the brackets to close new loops on the fly at the loop size 8 bars long again because of the global quantization size don't forget taking it back to a smaller amount again so you'll be able to launch the clips easily and not waiting 8 bars again I'll use shift and A to fade it in and don't forget pressing the F1 to unmute the track of course, you can always kill different frequencies and do all sorts of sweeps. And I forgot to mention, there is also a beat repeater, which is mapped X through M on the keyboard. And you can press Z to stop the beat repeat. You can play along. Of course, you don't have to use all four decks. So let's fade out Rihanna. Okay, that's about it. As you can see, you can do almost everything using only the computer keyboard. If you want to get back again to the clip area, I'm using Shift and Tilta, but you don't have to use it. You can actually change under the preferences, select on launch. If you disable this option, you'll be able not using this and always stay on the clip area. Let's change Rihanna again. Let's give her something else to sing. And trade her in. Okay, that's about it. 
all the functions and the mapping is included. If you download it, you can download it from my website, www.amit-live.com. And hopefully you like it. Feel free to write me any comment or wish. Have fun.